welcome to today's On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway. Um, I call myself a self-confessed Tudor nut as well as an author and blogger. My life is just Tudor history, really. Okay, where am I taking you today? Well, I'm taking you to Queen Elizabeth I's reign. For on this day in Tudor history, the 20th of August 1588, there was a Thanksgiving service held at St Paul's in London. Now, the purpose of this service, being a Thanksgiving service, was to give thanks to God for England's victory over the Spanish Armada. The Spanish Armada had been defeated. In fact, it had been obliterated. Yet the English fleet was left intact and only around 100 Englishmen were lost in the skirmishes. Now, I say only 100, obviously it's awful that 100 were lost, but so many more could have been lost. So there was plenty to give thanks for. Now, although Sir Francis Drake and Charles Howard, Lord Howard of Effingham, should be given credit for the English fleet's successful tactics, much of England's victory was actually down to the weather. At the Battle of Gravelines on the 29th of July 1588, the wind had helped the English fleet defeat the Spanish Armada because the Spanish fleet kept being driven into shallow water, making it very difficult for them to do anything. Then, the next day, the 30th of July 1588, the wind changed and the surviving Spanish ships were forced northwards and also scattered by the wind. Terrible storms then followed, causing more damage to the Spanish fleet. So it really did seem that the elements, particularly the wind, were on England's side. Sir Francis Drake wrote to Sir Francis Walsingham on the 30th of July 1588 saying, There was never anything pleased me better than seeing the enemy flying with a southerly wind northward. We have the Spaniards before us and the mind with the grace of God to wrestle a pull with them. Now, this wind that had helped repel the Spanish Armada and which had prevented a Spanish invasion of England became known as the Protestant wind because people believed that God had sent this wind to protect Protestant England from the Catholic Spanish Armada. It was seen as a divine victory and a special medal was struck to commemorate it. The medal was inscribed with the words which translate to God blew and they were scattered. And King Philip II of Spain was said to have commented on the defeat of his fleet saying, I sent you out to war with men, not with the wind and waves. So he recognised that it was the weather and not any shortcomings of his commanders who were to blame for the defeat of the Spanish Armada and for England's victory. So that's what happened on this day in Tudor history in 1588. We have a service of thanksgiving, thanking God for being on the side of Protestant England and sending that wind to defeat the foe. So there you go. Thank you for joining me. You can subscribe to my channel. I say this every time, but it's so important and I do hope you will consider it. You can click round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified of new videos as they go live. And you can, of course, uh, give me a like. And also, I really appreciate your comments. In fact, I just appreciate you following me. It's so nice to, uh, to have the support and encouragement from you. Thank you. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Bye bye.